And this is pretty much all that I have on my deck, my little pineapple here. What's up guys, it's Andre, and today I'm gonna show you the steps that I took to staining my deck. This deck is only about four months old. We just moved into a new build. This is my first time staining a deck. The stain that I chose after tons of reviews was the Olympic Maximum Semi-Transparent Stain. I found a lot of good reviews, no chipping, no flaking. After a certain amount of times, these things usually like start to lift off of the wood. This one penetrates the wood properly. It said it only needed one coat, so that was a big plus for me. So with my deck, it's actually on top of my garage. So it's not a deck that goes onto the, to the ground or the lawn. So I bought this cleaner here, if you can see that. So I bought this wood cleaner, but then after I came home and I was reading it, since my deck is on the top of the garage, there's a gutter right at the end of it. First it says, don't mix in a metal container. That's one red flag. Then it says, do not let cleaner run into the storm drain. So right there, I can't use this because whatever I do on the deck is gonna drain into the gutters. So I just had to use some plain old soap and water. I think it was okay because the deck is pretty new and I use a power washer and I use a good scrub brush. So what you're gonna need for this project is the stain, a good broom that can scrub. Um, depending on how bad your deck is, you might have to light sand it. I didn't have to, so I don't need that for this project. I needed a paint roller and a paint container. What do you call those things? A paint roller and a paint tray. I used a tarp and I used, oh, and you need a good staining brush. Do not skimp out on the staining brush. You can get paint rollers from the dollar store if you want, but do not skimp out on the staining brush. This is the most important tool of this project. I got a roll of paper towels just to keep everything clean and tidy. The last thing you want is drips on your deck because once it drips and it dries, then you're screwed. You're gonna see the spots. I use some regular dish soap and water. If you're gonna go that route, I suggest having a pressure washer. That's probably the best thing just to Get that surface nice and clean. You're gonna need about three days for this project. Well, I took three days. You don't have to, but I took three days just to make sure that each step was completely finished properly and dried. So for the first day, I washed, pressure washed, scrubbed it down, used my soap and water. Then the second day, I let it dry completely. So I took 24 hours and let it dry completely. With this stain though, it says you can wash and stain within the same day. I think you could, but I didn't wanna take the chance. I wanted everything to dry and seal properly. The third day was applying the actual stain with a roller and back brushing with a staining brush. And that's pretty much it. I let it dry for 48 hours before even going on it. Um, I really just left it for the whole week. We didn't have to go onto the deck and it turned out beautifully. So I'm gonna show you all the steps that I took and how it turned out. Oh, and my deck is 13 by 19 feet. And I don't know how much I used just because I bought the humongous, I got the five gallon container of stain. Obviously that's overkill. I probably used less than a third of it, but I bought this because I have more projects to do and it was actually a better value to get the big five gallon than to buying the smaller cans. Depending on your deck, you'll see, I think each can is about $59 and it does around 200 to 250 square foot of deck. Okay, so here we go. So the first step is just washing down the deck and just making sure every nook and cranny is wet so that when the soap gets in there and you can scrub it down, it gets all clean so it can accept the stain a lot easier. With any painting projects or anything, you always have to prep the surface. I mean, that's one of the most important parts. If you don't prep, then whatever product you're applying will not stay and will not do the job as it's supposed to. So, like I said, I just used soap and water, a good scrub brush. I think I picked up the scrub brush for about $25, but I'm gonna use it for my garage anyway, so it's not like a one-time deal. It's a very good broom. So once I scrubbed it down, I just used my pressure washer to wash away all the soap residue. Just make sure most of it is gone. A crucial thing is I did every single step in the evening. I did nothing in direct sunlight. You do not wanna do anything in direct sunlight just because you don't want your product to dry faster than you're applying it. So if your deck is super hot and the sun is beaming down onto it, and you start applying that stain, it's gonna dry as soon as you start rolling it out, then you'll have an uneven finish. Same with the prepping. If you start 
if you do this in direct sunlight and you're washing your deck, then the soap is gonna dry onto the deck and it's gonna be so much harder to wash off. Okay, so now because I don't have a lawn or anything that the deck runs off, I, I got a tarp from the dollar store and I just made a little station where I can have all the paints without it dripping onto the deck. So I would pour it out onto my paint tray. If there's any drips, it will go straight onto the tarp and not onto my actual project. And here I have my paper towels just in case my handle, cause my handle actually got messed up a bit. So I'm wiping everything clean. I also use gloves for the entire project. Um, yeah, you don't want this stuff on your fingers. Okay, so now because I have railings right at the end of my patio, this took much longer than it had to because I had to stick my hand through the railing and brush just the edge and then go over it with the roller and then back brush it all over again. So that just took an extra step. I just stained just the edge, kept it slightly wet. So, oh, and another thing, when you're putting your brush into the stain or you're putting the roller into the stain, when you take it up, you do not wanna see any dripping coming off. So you don't want the brush to be dripping wet and you don't want your roller to be dripping wet because that means you put way too much stain on your roller or brush and you might end up making a mess and creating drip stains on your deck. I've never done this before, but this is just my experience. So right here, you can see I did just the edges over the railing and then I took my roller and rolled right over it to create an even finish. And then I took my brush again to back brush that to make sure there was no roller streak. And then I would just continue with the roller all the way down to finish the two planks. After every roll that I did, or every plank that I did, I used the, the staining brush and back brushed the entire thing. You wanna keep moving and you wanna keep everything even. So here was another tricky part. I had the air conditioning unit. So what I did was I went underneath, used my staining brush, got between the crevices, and then I used the roller to just roll it back. I found that a lot of people on YouTube were using the roller with a stick and I thought, that didn't make much sense to me. I mean, I guess it's good for your back, but if you're using the stick, then you can't actually see what you're doing. And then you're gonna have to bend down anyway to back brush. So I just kept everything on the ground, kept it low. I didn't need a stick. Just roll with your hand. You're doing section by section. It's not like you're doing the entire thing one time. So you don't really need a stick for this. So as you can see here, I'm just going in between all the creases. Like you wanna make sure that you get inside those creases every time you back brush just because it's gonna look completely stupid if you have just the top layer of your deck stained and then you see this little tiny line of non-stain. So I just repeat the process going in from the edges, rolling and completing each side, only about one or two planks every time. Every time I finish two planks, I would back brush the entire thing. I would even go over the one before that just to make sure that everything is even go through every single creases, maybe about twice each time, and just continue the motion of, continue the motion of getting all the creases and all the planks evenly saturated with the stain. The one thing you don't want is to have gobbles of stain on any plank. So just always take a look at what you're doing and make sure that you didn't leave any spots. Doing my corners first, a little wet, but not dripping off the brush. And then once I go there, I would back roll and then go in between the creases. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do is repeat the process, go through everything, make sure you back brush. And it was a pretty simple project. I never actually did it before and I thought it was pretty simple. This deck took me about four hours to stain. I was taking my time because I wanted to make sure I got an even coat because I just didn't want to ruin it. Why ruin it? You spend so much money for the stain, why ruin it? And I, I kind of like this product because it, it used only one coat and it looks pretty good for the one coat. I thought this was a pretty easy project. It took a little time, it took about three days, but that's okay. It's not like we have to use the deck. This is first of many projects for the deck. So I just wanted to make sure that the floor was done and I wouldn't have any problems after that. So this is the Olympic Maximum Semi-Transparent Stain. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's see how it holds up. I know it rained a couple times too.
hopefully I'll be able to do the rest of my projects this summer. It's going to be the chair, a privacy screen, and maybe a bar and a barbecue. We'll see. But yeah, so that's the deck. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about anything that I might have missed. Like and subscribe if you want to see the rest of my projects during the summer. And thanks for watching.